To set up the Sphygma Core Excel system, connect the computer and the Excel unit to a power source. Connect the device via the USB cable to a computer where the Sphygma Core software is installed. To prepare for pulse wave analysis, follow proper protocol for brachial blood pressure measurement. Seat the patient in a chair so that his back is supported, making sure his feet are not crossed and are on the ground. The patient should rest in this position for at least five minutes before measurement begins and remain in the seated position throughout testing. Select Pulse Wave Analysis and enter the patient data. Select the appropriate size of brachial cuff and connect it to the Sphygma Core Excel unit. The Sphygma Core system comes with three brachial cuffs, a dark blue cuff for normal adult size, a maroon cuff in large size for patients with an arm circumference between 31 and 40 centimeters, and a brown thigh cuff that should be used to measure brachial pressure measurement in patients with an arm circumference greater than 40 centimeters. The narrow, bright blue femoral cuff provided with the Sphygma Core system should only be used for pulse wave velocity testing, never to measure brachial pressure. Fit the brachial cuff on the patient's arm. The arm with the cuff should be supported, placed at the level of the heart. When placing the cuff on the patient's arm, make sure the artery mark is over the brachial artery. The cuff should always be placed against the skin, never over clothing. Click Start. The cuff will inflate and the Sphygma Core system will automatically measure brachial systolic and brachial diastolic pressures. The cuff will then deflate for five seconds before partially reinflating to capture the brachial waveform, which will be used to determine the central aortic blood pressure. During inflation and deflation of the cuff, it is very important that the patient's arm remains still so that blood pressure is measured correctly. After the measurement is completed, the screen displays the measurement results. The patient's measurements will be compared to a reference range based on his or her sex and age. The report screen will show both central aortic pressure and central pulse pressure, which are measurements of blood pressure at the heart, and augmentation pressure and augmentation index, which are measures of arterial stiffness and pressure wave reflection. The Sphygma Core reference age, an estimate of the age of the patient's arteries, as well as a graph of the patient's central aortic waveform are also displayed. Always review the quality control section of the report. If the measurement is of acceptable quality, a green check mark will be displayed. If a red cross is displayed, repeat the measurement. Once an acceptable report is obtained, pulse wave analysis is completed and the cuff can be removed.